The Interim Management Committee, IMC, of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, has accused members of the National Assembly for majority of the rots in the commission. The federal lawmakers, it alleged, were frustrating efforts to develop the Niger Delta and requesting 6.4 billion naira for 132 unexecuted projects. These, acting managing director of the commission, Professor Keme Pondai, said, accounted for the barrage of allegations thrown at it by some interest groups, including its attack by some members of the National Assembly. Pandey, who spoke at the NDDC corporate headquarters in Port Harcourt on Tuesday, traced the troubles of the commission to the ambitions of the chairman of the two NDDC committees in the Senate and House of Representatives. He called on the management of the National Assembly to investigate the activities of the two chairmen, saying that most members of their committees were not aware of the motives behind their actions against the IMC. Joining us alive now is Benjamin Kalu, member representing Bende, local government, a federal constituency um, at the, in Abia State. He's also the chairman of the House Committee on Media and Public Affairs. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Thank you for inviting me. I'm right. happy to children of Nigeria. Yes, indeed. Happy Children's Day to them all. Among the allegations, um, uh, the managing director of the uh, interim uh, committee is putting out is that 50% of the commission's inability to deliver its mandate came from the strong stranglehold rather of the National Assembly on the commission. Are you aware of this? Uh, I don't... Um... I don't speak for the whole National Assembly. Uh, I speak for House of Representatives. And I can say that these are mere allegations. They are allegations because uh, they are unfounded. They are based on unfounded facts. What is happening here is that the National Assembly, the House of Representatives that I speak for, has been asking the uh, IMC to provide the performance report of previous year's budget. It affected the passing of the 2019 budget because they delayed for 17 months before they brought the performance report to enable us benchmark against the 2019 budget. It is now affecting the 2020 budget because they just dropped the budget without any performance report as well. All we ask, bring your performance report so that we know how accountable you are how you spend the money of Nigerians. That is what we ask for. Now, there have been allegations thrown up and down uh, that we delay the budget one and that we are not in support of the forensic auditing and that we part the budget. On the forensic auditing, we showed commitment, a political will to support the directive of the president who gave the directive for this forensic auditing to be done because it's healthy for the region. And that was why we noticed that the IMC, in presenting their budget estimate, excluded it from their budget. It was our, uh, the National Assembly, that noticed this gap and the mandate of the leadership of the National Assembly in order to comply with the directive of the uh, uh, president, asked us to put it in there as uh, a, a budget line. And uh, we did that. That is why today we are talking about forensic auditing. Many have asked the question, um, how was the uh, forensic auditor appointed and all the rest of them, did they comply with Section 85.3 A and B of the Constitution with regards to the duties of the Auditor General? It's one of the things we'll observe when we go for our investigative uh, proceeding, which has been instituted by the uh, resolution of the House based on the, on the motion moved by the Deputy Leader of the House. Now, does the forensic auditing affect the function of the House of Representatives in carrying out the mandate given to us by 88 and 89? The answer is no. The executive have ordered forensic auditing. We also need to do a fact finding to equip ourselves in anticipation of the result that will come from the forensic auditing. Because there is a little doubt whether the rules of natural justice is going to, you know, be upheld to the uh, letter. In law, we say the no more direct in cause as well. A man cannot be a judge in his own case. The supervisory ministry is overseeing the, the uh, IMC, 
of the ND NDDC, the supervisory mini, uh, um, uh, ministry is also supervising the forensic auditing. I mean, uh, we, we, we want to investigate and see that it's transparency in doing that. Okay, let, let, me, let me ask about the investigation. Of, These issues have been going on for a while. We'll talk about some of the allegations later, but this investigation that you're talking about, how soon are, are you expecting um, a report from the investigation that you can act on? The, we have sent out letters for the necessary uh, to the necessary agencies to submit their report on what we inquired. We have sent out you know, uh, interrogatories, uh, questionnaires, and they have been bringing in these um, um, reports. In no distance time, we'll be inviting NDDC. They have not been invited, uh, and nobody has been indicted. So I don't know what the panic is all about. And these are two parallel lines. All right, what we're going to do is go on a quick break, and when we come back, we'll try and reconnect with the member of the House of Representatives, Benjamin Kalu. Stay with us. Okay, you, you were um, saying something before we went on that break as regards the investigation. Yeah, I was saying that uh, we have not yet invited the IMC. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, we'll be inviting them because we're still gathering documents with regards to what we're expecting to be cleared on. And this is just normal. It's, it shouldn't be, the, the tension is so much, uh, it shouldn't be so. We are, when we invite other ministries or um, MDAs, they usually come and uh, clear the doubts. Nigerians are asking us to ask certain questions. The people who elected us want us to get some clarifications. I don't see anything wrong with that. Uh, the life of an establishment does not come to an end because a forensic auditing is going on. That uh, the forensic auditing is going on does not mean that the functions of the House of Rep with regards to 88 and 89 of the Constitution should stop. We need to equip ourselves with basic information in anticipation of the um, report that will come from the forensic auditing so that if there is any bias, if there's any compromise, we'll be able to fish it out because Many are already asking whether the rules of natural justice with regards to uh, Nemo Judex in Kosasua, a man not being a, a judge in his own case, is not going to play out here if he's going to be upheld to the letter because the supervisory ministry is the, well, of the IMC is also the supervisory ministry that is supervising the forensic auditing. So these are the things we will answer at the, at the later date. But for now, they should wait until we invite them. Nobody has been indicted. So going um, online and on, on the television and accusing the National Assembly doesn't make sense at this point. If they have invited you to answer some questions, this is the invitation from Nigerians. You should answer the question. And if there are people that have gone against the law, when you come to that investigation, open up and let us know what they did wrong. Uh, right. The chairman is not the owner of the committee or any other person the owner of the committee. You come to the committee, you expose those people that you believe that have gone against the law or report them to EFCC or ICPC. After all, not too long ago, the National Assembly was accused on uh, um, constituency projects. We submitted ourselves to ICPC. They did the investigation and they reported to Nigeria. That is how government works. We should not be personalized. On um, this of budget delay, it has not been all that is delaying the budget. Section 18 of the NDDC Establishment Act 2000 made it clear that 30th of September of every preceding year should be the time for delaying of, of, of uh, the budget before the National Assembly. This has not been complied with by the IMC. Okay, why, why we wait the for these? Um, budget? Okay, why we wait for these? Um, I, I would like, a lot of Nigerians will be concerned. I would expect some sort of reaction to some of the accusation. When, you know, when it comes to money, Nigerians are, um, don't like to joke with it. So could you speak on the accusation um, um, from the uh, commission against some unnamed National Assembly members um, requesting that they pay for 132 jobs without any proof of execution, amounting to some... 6.4 billion naira. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Like I said, this is what we have had. The National Assembly padded uh, 1,000 projects into the budget. I've had the National Assembly padded 7,000 into the budget. Uh, the truth is that the budget that was brought to the National Assembly by the IMC was 409 billion. And the so, uh, so revenue source will not be able to support that because it was sounding unrealistic. 
All we did was to prune it. We pruned the budget from 409 uh, billion to 345 million a uh, billion. To, 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 because we removed 63 billion from the uh, uh, proposed estimate because it was not supported by any source of revenue. We did not add anything. And when people talk about this project, the project that we have in the entire budget of 2019 was 5,959 projects, and out of which that there was a spill over from 2018, uh, um, um, which was a 5,416 5, projects, leaving us with only 543 new projects. So where are they getting their big numbers of 1,000 projects added to the budget or 2,000 projects or 7,000? Those are unrealistic numbers and unfounded numbers. Now, the issue of 132 uh, 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 projects that people are asking to be paid for without executing it, that is why we are inviting the IMC. Come and expose those people. Come to us and let us know Mr. A or Mr. B wanted us to do one, two, three, four, and these are the evidence before us. And I can assure you that the no-nonsense National Assembly leadership will frown at it and take the necessary steps to discipline those who are involved. All For right, now, it, I will leave it in the ESA, uh, uh, you know, platform, which, which bears no weight until they uh, visit us or report those people before the various security agencies. Those are unfounded. They cannot be backed by facts. If they have facts, let them present it when we do our hearing on this. And it's going I'll to be, the investigative that. hearing is going to be public. Questions are going to be thrown to them publicly. Nigerians are going to see how they respond to those questions. There will be nothing hidden. And for somebody to come up and say, you know what, this is going to frustrate forensic auditing. I laugh at it. Is that because it is laughable? All it right, honorable member. Forensic auditing. If um, I'm afraid we're time uh, constrained. Uh, we must say thank you very much. We hope to have more conversation on this in subsequent bulletins. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for inviting me.